being here. I'm Anna and today is day 11 of my 12 days of DIY gift ideas. Today's is my own version of something you've seen many places, I bet. You know those home signs with the O's that you can change out for the seasons? Like maybe in the fall, the O is going to be a pumpkin. In the winter, the O is going to be a snowflake. Well, I have a very small version to show you today that I think a lot of people on your gift giving list would love. Let's take a look at it. So here you can see my home sign with the interchangeable O's. Now, I debated making a sign of some kind on one block or on a frame, and I ended up using these wood blocks that I had in my collection. Now, if you're looking for some wood blocks, you want to create one like this, you can often find these at the dollar store. Now, if you can't find individual blocks, you can definitely find a single block that you could create one of these on, or you could choose a frame as well. Talking about the decorations, so you can add some paper to it or you can create it with the bare wood block, depending on your preference. I had had paper on these blocks years ago for a project and I never finished it. So I am using this as a chance to use these blocks for something and I just love how it turned out. Now let's talk about how I created the decorations and the little interchangeable O's. So first let's talk about the letters. I used the Playful Alphabet die set to create these and it's a set I've been using a lot. I actually just used it the other day for another project that I shared with you. Show it to you right now. It's this beautiful sign uh, that says bless. So this is another one of my days of DIY gift ideas you can take a look at if you want to. Now, the interchangeable O's, let's go through the year. I'm not going to make these with you. I'm just going to quickly explain which die sets and products I use to create them. And that is pretty much going to be it because these are pretty simple to create. So we are going to start in the winter time with the little snowflake. I created this one using the gifts giving die set. And I did use this one for another one as well. Uh, that leaf, when we get to the leaf, I use the same die set for that one. The chick, love the little chick. For the chick I used, what other set than the birthday chick set. A really fun one if you think chickens are fun or anything farm, uh, that's a neat one. Now if you don't have these specific ones, you can take a look through your dice die collection and see what you might have. But I definitely wanted to show you which ones I used in case you're thinking like, oh my gosh, I love that chick. I have to have it. Which die set did it come from? Okay, so as we move into the spring and summer months, I have a flower. I made this one with the many layered blossom set. We have a butterfly. I made this with brilliant wings. As we move into summertime, I wanted something patriotic. Here is a star that I created with the Christmas trimmings set. After that, we move into fall. The leaf, like I said, came from that giving gift set again. And then the pumpkin. Don't forget about the pumpkin. Here's the little pumpkin. I created it with the seasonal swirls one. It's actually a wreath set, but it has some fun little additions like that little pumpkin. And then the poinsettia, which I have on my sign right now, I made with the poinsettia dies. So you could make far more pieces than I did. I have, what, eight, I think. But you could make lots more. I was looking through my collection, the Nothing's Better Than set with cookies and coffee and chocolate. Like Those would be really cute. There are so many things you could put on these and lots of different options so you could tailor them for the person you're giving to them to even so thanks for watching along you can find links to the products in the description below oh real quick i can't forget this you are going to want to know how to store these right because what are you going to do with them when they're not in use I, you know i actually just thought of an idea right now uh if you wanted to, if you won't see the back sides of these, you could put Velcro on the back. I think I forgot to mention that. I used Velcro on these. So I put the soft fuzzy Velcro side on my block and the hook, the harder side onto my pieces. 
So if you wanted to, you could put extra Velcro on the back of the blocks if they're not going to show and put them there. My other idea was to use one of our little embellishment containers. So they all fit right here in this little container. I can pop the lid on. And what I've done with other signs that I have that are similar to this, I keep this handy somewhere really close to where this would be displayed. So in like a drawer or on a shelf where it doesn't show so that it's right there and I can change it out easily when the seasons change. So thanks so much for watching along. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.